excited that you are joining me on this live today. For those of you all who don't know who I am, my name is Dee Edwards, and I am an author, speaker, and taxpreneur. I enjoy helping individuals to start, grow, and build profitable and sustainable businesses in a big old bank account. I believe that you can be, be saved and paid all at the same time. So on today's message, I really want to talk to you about you being the target. I know that it's late, but I definitely had to get this message out to you because this, this message is being inspired by a message that I heard earlier today by Dr. Perry. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hey, Ms. Brenda, we missed you today in service. Church was not the same without you. We love you guys so much. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Janetta. Hey, Spring. Hey, hey, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Listen, you guys, I have to bring this message to you all before, before I go to bed. I just had to drop this. I started to wait until the morning. What's up, Lexi? Hey, Latoya. Listen, I started to drop this message, you know, tomorrow, but I couldn't wait because I needed you to understand that you are a target of the enemy and I'm going to show you in this message how you're going to have two types of people that are looking for you. You're going to have two types of people who are coming after you just because you were born, just you exist. So thank you guys so much for sharing this broadcast out. Hello, Cynthia. What's up, Cynthia? Great hearing from you. Listen, so I want you to turn your Bibles. You guys know I have a word from Matthew 2. Listen, this message is so profound because I just heard a message today. And as she was ministering, the Lord was giving me revelatory insight into this word. Um, on tonight. So this is going to come from Matthew 2. Let's go, you guys. Listen. So Matthew 2. Jesus was born in, where was he born? In Bethlehem, in Judea. So this happened, everything that I'm about to tell you, it happened just because Jesus was born. And many of you all have faced, faced many encounters. You've been having many betrayals. People have tried to hurt you. They have attacked you. And you feel like all of these things are happening and you haven't done anything to anybody. I want you to know that you're a target just because you were born. And I'm going to show you in the scripture how Jesus was a target from his birth. And that's why many of you all are experiencing the level of hardship and the level of warfare that you have been going under. So watch this. The Bible said that Jesus was born in, in, in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. Watch who was in charge at this time. A king was in charge and his name was King Herod. Watch this. About that time, some wise men from east eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking where is the newborn king of the Jews so Jesus was just born and already before he could minister a word before he before he could perform miracles before he can even operate in his God given assignment he already had a group of people that was looking for him watch this it said we saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him so look at the first set of people People that that came to him. The first set of people because he was born came to worship him. So you're going to have a group of people that's always in your life that is going to honor the gift that you are to the world. They're going to honor your anointing. They're going to honor you just because of the way that you show up. So don't, don't diminish the people who honor you at the level that you are at today. I heard Dr. Perry said that we got to start giving honor to those who honor us when nobody knows our name. We got to start giving honor to those who, who stood beside us when nobody knew who we are. So watch this. So there were already a group of people who was ready to worship God, who was ready to worship Jesus before he even performed his first miracle. They were ready to worship him before he, he did anything on the earth. They were ready to worship him while he was in his infant state. And some of you all hadn't realized that people are ready to support you. They're ready to help you. They're ready to impart in you while you're in your infant state of your business, while you're in your infant state of your ministry, while you're in your infant state. Sometimes we cannot even recognize what God has already placed on our life, but you best believe that there are some people who can see prophetically what God has already placed inside of you. So there are people who are already, already, uh, um, they're already honoring where you're going to be. I already hear people, they've already 
and giving me titles because they can see where I'm going versus where I am. So you'll have a group of people who will honor you just because of where you're going. You may not be there today, but there are some people who will honor you just because of where you're going and just because of what God have already show, showed them. Watch this. And it said in verse number three, King Herod, keep, keep in mind that this was the man who was in charge, watch this, was deeply disturbed when he heard this. So he was already disturbed that Jesus have not performed his miracle. Jesus have not done anything, but he was already disturbed because Jesus had shown up, because Jesus was born. And just because you were born, just because you've decided to walk in the path that God had for you, there are some people who are disturbed by your existence because I know that I disturb some people just because of the way that I show up, just because the way that I run my business. There are people who are just disturbed by my presence. Watch this, y'all. There are some people who are disturbed just by your name. There are people who are disturbed just because you're operating in the calling and you're operating what God have called you to be. You haven't done nothing to these people but show up. Jesus was born and King Herod was disturbed because he had a group because there was a group of people who was ready to honor him oh my goodness watch this y'all king herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this as was everyone in jerusalem y'all i really want you guys to pay attention that jesus was still an infant at this time so he hadn't performed any miracles he hadn't spoken anything into existence he hadn't cast out any demons so in his infant state the people, the king who was in charge was disturbed. And the Bible said, and so was everyone else in Jerusalem. So God, you're telling me that the, the mere existence of Jesus disturbed an entire nation? And so you're mad and you're, you're, you're crying because your presence and the way that you show up, it is disturbing some people. See, all you're doing is, all you're doing is mimicking what has already been done in the Bible. God is just showing you that you can endure through this because it was already done to his son. It was already done to his son. Hey, Andrea, it was already done to his son. Watch this, y'all. Y'all got to catch this, just the mere existence of Jesus. Dr. Perry, I just told them that I got this message that was inspired by you. Watch this. Oh, my God. So listen, so there was a group of people who wanted to worship Jesus because he was born. And then there was a group of people who wanted him dead. So as you are pursuing your assignment, you're going to have two groups of people that you face. You're going to have one group who are going to honor you. They're going to, they're, they're going to um, uh, basically acknowledge your presence. And then you're going to have a group of people who want you dead. You're going to have a group of people who will betray you, who will lie on you, who will gossip you, gossip about you. They're going to be a group of people who try to destroy your character and your name just because not because you have done anything wrong so you got to stop stop blaming yourself because of the way that other people feel about you as a matter of fact you got to stop being apologetic about the way that other people feel about you just your mere existence just because you were born it already intimidate people it ain't because of what you have done. So some of you all have been crying and saying, Lord, why certain people don't like me? Why I don't fit in? It is the anointing. It's what God has placed inside of you that make people feel the way that they do about you. There's some people who don't like you who ain't never met you. There's some people who don't like you. They, they ain't never said a word to you. But you ain't got time to entertain those type of people. Watch this. Thank you guys so much for sharing this out. Watch this. Then Herod, this was the king now, called for a private meeting with the wise men. So now they knew that these wise men came to worship Jesus, but yet the king, who had an alternative motive, wanted to have a private meeting with them. And see, that's why you got to be very mindful who you sit at the table with. You got to be very mindful who you talk to. You got to be very mindful as to who you share your next level with, because everybody that sit at the table with you, everybody who pats you on the back, everybody who congratulates you, that ain't with you. That's why Jesus said that there's many that walk with him, but but not all will inherit the kingdom of God. There's many that say, Lord, 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 and Lord, but will not inherit the kingdom of God because their motives are not right. 
their motives are not right. So there have been people that's in your life that's patting you on the back that want your demise. And I'm about to show you, there's people who've been saying congratulations to you, but in the back of their mind, they're jealous and they're envious of you. There have been people who've been flyway supporting you, but they really keeping track of your next move. You are a target of the enemy, not because you have done anything wrong, but just for the fear the mere fact that you have showed up, you are a target. And I used to cry and I used to say, Lord, why people, you know, I know that I'm a good person. I know that I do right by people. Why is there certain people who don't like me? And, it's, and, and then God began to show me through this message on tonight. It's not because I've done something wrong towards them. It's because of the oil and the anointing that's on my life that will cause certain people not to like me. And that's the same for you. That's why certain people don't like you. That's why you are a conflict to certain people because of the oil and the anointing that's on your life. So King Herod called for a private meeting with the wise man, and he learned from them the time when the first star appeared. So keep in mind that the, that the wise men, they came into town looking for the star because the star would tell them where Jesus would be. So the King Herod, he, he met with the men with the wise men and what he wanted to know, where was this star going to be? Because he had an ulterior motive to kill Jesus from birth. Ah, yeah, man, shut up. Y'all need to understand that from birth, you have been a target. Some of you all have been asking God, why have I had to go through all of this? Why I had to be raped? Why I had to be molested? Why my parents don't like me? Why they left me? Why I had to be, be uh, put into foster care? You've been asking God why you have experienced all of this pain, why all of this trauma has happened in your life. You have to know that you've been a target, baby, from birth because of the anointing on your life because what's on your life is going to save an entire nation. King Herod became intimidated just because Jesus was born. Thank you for sharing this out. And there are some people that are just intimidated by your name. They can't stand to see your name on flyers. They can't stand to see people pressing like on your Facebook post. They can't stand it. Your mere existence ha, is making people upset. Watch this. Watch this. In verse number eight, then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him. Watch this, y'all. The king was saying this was the king that had an ulterior motive. The king that wanted to kill him. He told the wise men Hey, I want y'all to go find him. I want you to go find King Jesus because I want to worship him as well. See, he was saying the right things. He was saying the right things. That's why the Bible said that you got to test the spirit by the spirit. You can't just go based upon what everybody say. You got to look at their actions. You got to discern their spirit, baby. You got to pray about folks when they come into your life. You can't just be going based upon what people say. Everybody, I told y'all, everybody who keep congratulating you and patting you on the back just because they share your post don't mean that they have your best interest at heart. Some people just connected to you because they know that you had it for the top and that you're going to call their name. Yeah, no, no, my shit. Some people have, people can't stand the fact they can't stand the fact that God is still using you in spite of what everybody has said about you. God, I can be a witness to that. I can be a witness to that. That I was blasted on, on, on in 2016 on social media, and I didn't respond. There was no dialogue from me. There was there was no defense from me. And some people can't understand that in the midst of all of that and all the accusations that went out uh, uh, about my name and against my name, that I'm still here. People don't understand that while they were still plotting and while they was trying to to, to pull me down, that God was still blessing. That God was still blowing on my name, that God was still lifting me up, that he was still building. And so people can't stand the fact that in spite of everything that they've done to tear you down, that, that God is still blowing on your name. They can't stand the fact that everything that they tried to do to kill you, to destroy you, uh, to ruin your reputation, that you are still here. Ah, yeah, mind shut up. Thank you. Woo. Woo. Thank you so much for for sharing this out. Let me calm down a little bit. Let me calm down a little bit. Oh, let me just calm down. Oh my God. Let me just calm down a little bit. 
People don't understand. They don't, they, 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 they don't, they don't get it. But I want you to be really confident in who God has called you to be because regardless of what they have tried to do, see this, this goes to testify that the weapons that they may form, but they will not prosper. God never said that people won't talk about you. He never said that they won't gossip about you. He said, he never said that they won't gather in cliques against you, but he said the weapons, they will form Andrea. They will form Lexi. They will form Keisha. They will form against you, but they will not prosper. What the enemy meant for your bad, God said that he's going to turn around. He's going to catch every attack. He's going to catch every bullet. He's going to catch everything that's been against your name, and he's going to mold it, and he's going to fix it, and he's going to make that thing work out for your good. That's why. That's why it's working for you. And let me tell you this, even when you've been wrong, just for the simple fact that people want to see you go under God and lift you up in public and he'll handle you in private. Oh my, shut up. Oh my, my. See, God won't allow you to be put to shame in front of your enemies, even if he have to deal with you in private because their motives was wrong towards you. No, 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 my shit. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'll talk about that in a minute. Woo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So listen, King Herod. Hey, Sherry, you so funny. Hey, Lena. So King Herod was saying out of his mouth, go and find Jesus and come back and tell me because I want to worship him too. Now this man, whole intent was to kill Jesus. He didn't want to. He was saying what the wise men wanted to hear, but he didn't mean it. He did not mean it. And so I want you to know that you are a target. And if you're ever going to get to the place where God truly have for you, you got to go with, go in that next level with God. Stop putting God on the back burner and being surprised about the people who betray you and, and, and being surprised about, about the shots of the enemy. You're surprised about it because you're not in God's face. You got to get in God's presence because I want to show you what happened. It said that after the interview, the wise men went on their way and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. And so when they saw the star, they was filled with joy. They entered the house and they saw the child with, child with his mother Mary and they bowed down and worshiped him. And watch this. So the wise men were able to complete their task and their journey because their motives was complete. But when it was time to leave, watch this. King Herod said, go follow the star, but come back and let me know where Jesus was. And so when the wise men left, the Bible said that when it was time, they returned to their own country by another route. <laughs> by another, somebody needs to scream by another route. Thank you for sharing.